Hey guys, welcome back to BSTS Tech. We're going to do something a little bit different today. I even changed up the background a little bit. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I thought this might look pretty good for this. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into a hard drive dock, an external hard drive dock. Now, in your IT career, um, or even maybe not a career, if you're just doing home repair uh, for your friends and family, or even if you're doing freelance work for potential clients, customers, whatever, um, you're probably going to, at some point, need to hook up an internal hard drive to a different computer. Now what I mean by that is that, let's take virus removal for an example here. Sometimes you have to, in order to remove viruses completely, you have to examine the Windows file system itself and you can't really do that if you're booted into it whenever you run the scan. So that's just one example of when you're going to have when you would need to pull the hard drive out and put it into a different computer. Now, there don't you could buy a uh, external hard drive dock like 20 bucks um, for a cheap one. And if you want to do that, that's fine. If you can wait, you know, a week for it to get there, whatever. Uh, but I know for me, this came out of necessity. Um, I had this lying around, and I needed to hook up a drive to a computer at work. And this was what I had. So I took it apart, took the hard drive out of it, and was able to put another one in it. Um, and it's, I mean, it's really a simple concept, and once once we get into it, you'll kind of see what I'm talking about. But, uh, yeah, I thought I'd show you guys this, so let's take a look at it. So, let's talk about what an external hard drive is. Essentially, you've got three parts. Three parts. You have the case, you have a card in the, a printed circuit board that supplies your power, your USB data connection and in this case this particular model of hard drive has some pass-through USB ports um, and this is just a Seagate uh, backup plus hub I don't know if that's gonna be upside down or not it may be upside down if it's not we'll just there we go so you can see it one way or the other I don't know so that's really all it is. And then of course you have your hard drive. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. If I didn't mention it, well I'm mentioning it now. So you have the actual hard drive itself. Now the hard drive in here is pretty much no different than a hard drive that's in your computer now. Um, it's just, it's put in the case for protection and then it's a way of supplying, you know, you have a way of supplying your external power um, and all that jazz. So to do this, you're going to take a screwdriver and remember if you don't have this particular uh, external hard drive that's fine there's it's going to be a similar process um, some of them are easier to take apart some of them are probably harder than this one to take apart now I'll just go ahead and let you in on a secret I have already taken this one apart um, because this is the one I actually used at work so to do it Find where the plastic uh, meets the kind of the case. You can see we have this really shiny plastic, and then you have this duller plastic here. So you just want to find the seam. Uh, let me get into one real quick. <laughs> and you'll have to, you'll probably have to try a couple different spots before you finally get in. Uh, but as you can see, uh, maybe, I'm kind of, wow, that's really hard to do. I'm kind of under it there, but you just want to kind of work it around until you hear some clicks and pops. And yeah, you're probably going to break some of the uh, holding mechanisms in there. They're like, in this case, they're just uh, clips. So just work it and yeah. Just work it until you get enough leverage to pull the thing off. Okay. 
and this is what the inside of them look like. Now, like I said, I've used this one previously, so this is not the actual hard drive that was in here. Um, I just wanted to have something in here to kind of show you guys. Um, again, with a backup, an ex a backup of this, a backup, a drive, what have I been saying? Have I been saying backups all the time? An external drive, wow, an external drive of this size is probably going to have a full uh, three and a half inch drive in it and that's fine there's no difference um, as far as we're concerned so they may have some screws that are holding it to the card um, or they may not it really just depends some of them instead of having a card that has external power um, they actually will have just a smaller card up at the front that uh, the only thing that they do or the only input they take is a USB cable that converts and this card converts the USB into data and power for your hard drive so let's take this out okay now dep again depending on your hard drive you may have to take the back plate off uh, in order to get to some screws or something that may be under your card. Um, I'm trying to remember if this one had any extra screws in it or not. I don't think it did. But anyway, so that's pretty much, I mean that, that's literally all you have to do to have an external drive dock. Um, you can leave it open like this. Um, and whenever you want to go to use it or when you're ready to use it uh, just plug your power cable in the back um, plug your USB data in and then take your hard drive and line them up and slide it back in now let me show you that part a little bit kind of zoom in on it because it's probably important so as you can see if I can hold the uh, plastic still you have on this little printed circuit board you have your SATA power and then your SATA connection and of course this takes the place of the SATA cable and the uh, SATA battery or the SATA power cable that goes to your battery um, but that's pretty much all this is um, and on this case there's also a uh, LED that you can see drive activity and that, that's pretty nice but I digress. I just thought I'd show you that and just in case there are any questions. Okay, so that's it. Um, that's all there really is to making an external uh, hard drive dock out of something you might already have laying around. Um, you might also be able to find an old, just broken uh, external hard drive at a computer parts store or whatever. Um, I don't know, your family might have one laying around if they're moderately into computers. I know at one point uh, my parents had an old hard drive, uh, external hard drive that somebody had knocked off the table. And as you can imagine, it was shot. Um, but it still had that little bitty card in it that converted the uh, USB to power and data. So it's just something cool. Um, if you like taking apart stuff, um, if you like making your own stuff, which I don't know, I do sometimes. So, if you guys like this video, uh, yeah, it was kind of short, but that's okay. Uh, if you guys like this video, hit the like button, um, subscribe if you want to see more, um, check out some of our other videos. Um, we usually focus more on coding um, and larger topics, but I just thought this was cool and I wanted to share it. So, thanks for watching.